Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Justin Field and Andy Dalton situation has everyone talking. Laura, what's the latest there? I thought we were going to talk wine for a second. I got excited, but okay, let's talk quarterbacks. Matt Nagy told me I get it. We're a society of I want it now, but he said, I lived this with Patrick Mahomes and Alex Smith. I watched that trust and that relationship develop, and that's what's happening here right now. He said, I hear what people say. You're going to get fired if you don't do this right, but I don't care. If Justin is better than Andy, we'll go there. If Andy's better than Justin, we'll go there. But until then, they'll compete their tails off, and they'll grow as quarterbacks and teammates. The future is Justin, but we're going to do it the right way. Always doing it the right way. Let's head to Indy. And hi, Lindsay Zarniak. Laura Oakman, uh, what you can't see behind me is probably the Rams receivers dancing here in the end zone. Here's what I can tell you. The Colts have been working all week preparing for the air show that everybody saw Sunday night, Matt Stafford and the Rams. The deal for the Colts is they're going to be without cornerback Xavier Rhodes. He's dealing with the hurt calf. The other issue is the offensive line. It's going to look really different today for the Colts. Part of that reasoning is because Braden Smith, right tackle, is out suffering a foot injury last week. But guys, the bright spot here is the Colts are super excited about getting Eric Fisher back, that left tackle, that two-time Pro Bowler who suffered the Achilles injury with the Chiefs in the AFC Championship game. This guy only practiced a couple weeks with his team. Carson Wentz told me, though, I've been in the training room with him. I'm shocked how fast he's come back. This guy is going to make a big impact for us. Chris so let's send it back.